Hi dear friends in this session we would be introduced to a whole new world a world of physics in this beautiful planet that we call earth there are a lot of interesting events that take place this events are around us which we see or do or experience almost regularly at some point in time your curiosity would have definitely got the better of you and would have pushed you to ask the question like what's going on or how does that happen well even miracles apart the answer to all this question is physics you see there is more to an event in our everyday life than what makes the eye so to appreciate the event that you see you have to first understand the event that you don't see confused don't worry let's make it simple by looking at ten everyday life example at random we all know what that sound is don't we it's a annoying yet important sound which tells us that we have to be up and about we wake up in the morning at the sound of the alarm sound is something which we can't see but we can hear and experience it is used in important medical equipments like ultrasound scanner and by the ships to estimate the depth of the ocean physics studies the origin properties and propagation of sound let's make a note of this event of sound and another event yet to come in this session before we define what physics is at the end to have a cup of coffee we boil water after turning on the stove we notice that water is hot enough when it starts boiling and when we see the steam this gradual rise in temperature which causes the water to bubble and later change to steam is called heat thus we get hot water by heating heat is used in industry to melt metals and make heavy duty machineries like automobiles and generators it is also used in household appliances like steam iron heat and its property is an important topic of physics as well while we take walk in the park on a tar road we have a good grip because of a sort of roughness or resistance between the sole of our shoes and the surface of the road this resistance is called friction but see if we are busy on the phone or we did not notice the banana peel in front of us then what makes us fall apart from the absent mindedness it is due to the reduced friction between the shoes and road due to the slippery banana peel friction which is an important factor in making of tire is also explained by physics we have all observed apple falling from the tree why do this apple fall down this is nothing to be puzzled about the answer is simple the earth has a kind of pull that draws every object towards its surface this pull is called gravity or gravitational force gravity is studied to a large extent by astronauts to mimic the condition in outer space in fact gravity is the very event which was studied by sir isaac newton who is now considered as one of the father of physics when we use compass we notice that the direction of the needle is constant that is the needle always points in the north direction this is because of the force of attraction between two oppositely charged ends and is called magnetism all material that follow magnetism can be termed as magnet did you know apart from being just a planet our earth is one big giant bar magnet the geographic north pole of the earth is actually the magnetic south pole which attracts north pole of the compass this is why the compass always points in the north direction no matter where it is 
we all know opposites attract, don't we? Physics, like in the property of magnetism, which is used in the mode of transport, like the metro train and in parts of electronic speaker. We would all have seen or done some tricks like this. So, what makes the object remain still or maintain its position, even if there is a pull or a tug on it? It is due to inertia or unwillingness or laziness of the body to change its state of rest or motion. This property of inertia is important for automobile industry while mimicking accident for safer car to be manufactured. Thus, physics involve inertia. Speaking of tugs and pushes, what do we do when we open or close the door? We apply a force. Force is something that we use on daily basis in almost all the tasks we undertake like brushing our teeth, pushing the keys on the keyboard or the cell phone. Force is also involved in various processes like coughing and sneezing. Simply, force is a pressure put on one body by the another. Sports like swimming and running also employs force. For this overall reason, force is dealt with by physics. Let's look into our daily gadget like the cell phone. What makes the cell phone work is the electricity that is supplied by the battery. What charges the battery is the electricity supplied by the powerhouse. Electricity, as we all know, is an important part in our daily life. Be it for the transportation like buses, car or train or for powering household appliances like television, fridge or microwave. The many usage of electricity is enough to justify why we study electricity in physics. After a while of rain, we see a rainbow in the sky. It's beautiful and has seven pretty colors. This is particularly due to the property of white light, which is a mixture of many different colors. Rainbow is formed due to the splitting of sun rays through the raindrop. Study of white light is an important part of physics because light is having various usage like decorations and laser. Did you know we all are made up of many many tiny particles which we cannot see with our naked eyes or even with the help of microscope? They are even smaller than the cell and even they are called as a building block of the cell. Do you know what the particles are called? They are called atoms. Even the tiny dust particle which we cannot see are made up of atom. The theory of atom is involved with the origin of the universe, life on earth and everything around us. Hence, physics just cannot do without it. From all this event, let us now define physics. The word physics comes from the Greek word physis, which means nature, and physique, which means knowledge of nature. Thus, simply put, physics is the study of nature and universe on the whole and the various occurrence and events taking place in it. Its goal is to answer all the questions right from the elementary particle called atom to gigantic structure like planet. It gives us an understanding of how and why the things are the way they are. Physics is not like a mountain which is not difficult to scale and when you reach the top, the view is beautiful. Just don't accept the things the way they are. Follow your curiosity wide and far.